It's named Camp 6 in honor of Scott Ike, a homeless man found dead in the cold on New Year's Day. The camp is now a form of protest. You guys may want to get back over here pretty quick. Look, that was the mayor's uh, pit bulls there. And they said they was coming, he said they was coming today. Uh, and then he said, well, should I call them off? And I said, no, bring them. There's three pieces of legislation Kansas City Mayor Quinn Lucas agreed to. One, extending the current hotel and motel contract by 90 days, giving those experiencing homelessness a place to stay temporarily. On July 15th, our hotel program ends. There will be people who once lived in them temporarily who will be back on the streets theoretically or in one of the shelters. The question for us, I think, is what do we want to do? I expect the city to come up with another plan to move them out the way but not address the issues of why people are homeless. Band-aids fall off. The problem has not been solved. So once this 90 days is over, Kansas City can just go right back to normal. The streets flooded with, with the homeless. All they're looking for is stability in a home. You build this up, you know, you, you invest in it with your heart and then somebody comes along and says you can't be here anymore and they just throw everything in a trash truck and dump it and destroy everything you built. What is being done to help us? I just want to know what we can do to make it faster. The city is ready for winter. We are ready for winter. There's no urgency. They said we would not be back out here. We're still in the exact same condition. I can say that we are asking questions today that I thought were solved a year ago. But I am emotionally charged by the fact that we're still not getting it right. That we're still having the same conversations that have nothing to do with keeping people safe, keeping people warm, and keeping people alive.